What is up everybody and welcome to a new let's play actually here. Look at this. What game is Tropico 4? So uh, yeah, basically I picked up this game today. It was on sale on Steam and it looked like a lot of fun. So I figured, hey, let's make a let's play of it. Let's see what happens. Uh, I don't know if it's going to come out every day. Odds are for the first few days it will. Then maybe if I get bored of it, but... I don't know, I don't. I played the first thing in the tutorial, then I got too bored, so I decided let's just go wing it ourselves in the campaign, and uh, yeah, eventually I would like to do the campaign, then maybe do some of the extra missions, then definitely do the sandboxes, I saw some uh, let's play of that by Arsenal Robert, and it looked quite fun, so get all the fools on your, oh, hello. What a hellhole, but at least it's my hellhole, St. Clara is the typical Caribbean island, beautiful on the outside, poverty stricken on the inside. People live in shacks and have hardly anything to eat. Healthcare and education are non-existent and unemployment is through the roof. Someday, I will turn Tropico into a true world power. Okay, First well, thing, this, um... Improving the situation on St. Clara will secure awesome, local guys. support and establish... Alright, so I guess we're going to do this right here and just keep talking. Um, so I guess we just got to improve the, uh... I don't know... Ah, uh, the, the state, or how these people feel. So I get to choose my uh, little, I guess, avatar here. So let's see, um... Augusta, no. Oh, this guy, this guy looks like a boss. Admit it. Oh, wait, do they have, uh, different things? Charismatic politics. Oh, it, it uh, gives you different traits. Custom avatar. Oh. He's this patriotic alcoholic. Uh, Fidel Castro. No, this guy looks pretty boss. Paranoid. Jingo. What is this? Oh. 20, m plus 20. Bleh, plus 20 militarist. Militaristic. Militarist faction respect. Minus 20 EU. Please reduce liberty like soldiers. Uh, okay. National section. Maybe we should just make our own. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, hello. You're very fat. Um, Bouncer. Casual and greaser. Now we gotta be elk admiral. Now we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be a boss in our pirate uniform, obviously. Mediterranean olive, dark brown, light Celtic. No, we're definitely gonna not be Celtic. We're gonna be olive, I think. Yeah, olive hat, none top hat, admiral. Um, no, we need the pirate hat. Oh, mobster. No, I, I don't know. It's pretty, pretty bowler pirate. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go with the matching pirate hat. Or the, or the K. Uh, oh no, 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 no. We're gonna go with the Majesty hat, obviously. Hairstyle. We're gonna go with a uh, no, not a ponytail, not graying, white. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go with the white hair. Accessories. He's gonna have. Uh, yeah, we're well, we're we're in Tropico, which I believe is in the like something to do with the USSR and stuff so I really know little to nothing about this game by the way so uh, can we get you just going with a chin strap chin curtain goatee uh, we're gonna go with goatee then just to make this guy into a boss and let's see pour it oh yeah we gotta get that um alright so we're obviously our name is juice our background we are a oh god biblical scholar no booze baron uh, gang, ooh, busted for tax evasion, and spiced rum prices, minus, ooh, following the big man's example, ow, hit my mic, wonderful, uh, you establish yourself as a bootlegger during the, no, born in the purple, the legend is when you, someone accidentally pitched you in a needle, blood poured out those sweet little aristocratic veins of yours, your nanny tells you a different version, um, <sighs> fortunate, that's a song. Your daddy was obscenely rich. All tropical faction respect. Intellectual faction respect. Wait, what? Don't they cancel? Isn't that a faction? Isn't that? I don't know. Minor. Um, pop singer. <laughs> <clears throat> I like the booze baron. I was in the. I was in Al Capone's gang. Chief of police, actually. Uh, minus forty percent crime. Minus ten percent liberty. Secret agent. Now, where's secret agent? Um, secret agent are more effective, time respect with all, no, I don't want that, never mind. Oil Tycoon, um, no, I, I think I like the Booze Baron, uh, or the, yeah, the Booze Baron is developer, uh, plus 50%, no, we're gonna be a Booze Baron, so we're gonna select that, 
And, uh, rise to power. How did I rise to power? Elected, you can't, because we're a poos baron. Well, obviously we're a military coup. Uh, no, we a velvet revolution. You demanded government change without bloodshed and led many nonviolent. No, bought bought the election. No, capitalists were we're poor. Obviously, we just uh, we're a pirate and we ro robbed that off some guy. So, uh, um, you believe in exporting revolution in every nation in need of liberation from foreign oppressions. That's why you staged a coup and overthrew the rotten capitalist government on tropical power to the people. Plus 10 communist faction respect. Plus 25. Plus 10 farmers production. Um, installed by the CIA. Ooh. The guy from the Langley brainwashed you so hard that the first time you arrived at the Tropico, you accidentally forgot who was calling the shots. The farm didn't take any chances and brainwashed you a second time. Now you're sterling. Now you're a sterling example of an agent in service of Uncle Sam. Obedient, unquestioning, and highly dubious. And dubious means uh, like random, I think, or doubtful. Doubtful, I mean. Ha, that was on my spelling test the other day. My uh, English word of the day test. No, not word of the day. It was off a book. Who, who cares about that? Um. Hmm. I'm feeling the military coup. Um. Yeah. So we're gonna go military coup traits. Oh, we get traits as well. We're active. You spend most of your t youth at peaceful demonstrations, throwing rocks at government buildings, setting. Uh, oh, activist administrator. Your ideal world is one of the structure and order. You take the greatest pleasure in organizing things. For example, you can't arrange it. No, no alcoholic. Your papa and your mom both like hitting the bottle way too often. They would hit each other. They follow their shiny example and find consolation only when you are drenched in alcohol fumes. You have attended every single AA meeting in traffic. <laughs> Current level, next level. Um, I think I, I gotta be one has to be an alcoholic because I'm a booze baron. So uh, I'm just going to make it out. Uh, entrepreneurial. Uh, you come from big but poor family. To support them all, you need to start your own business when you were just 50. Yes. I like this. I like this. Flatulence. Ta. You were always a drunk. <laughs> your mother used to cook nothing but beans, beans, and lots of them. Beans for breakfast, beans for lunch, and surprise, beans for dinner. You never understood why people avoided you. <laughs> uh, I love uh, this guy. Hardworking. I, I don't know. Hypochondriac. You start off your day by swallowing a handful of pills. <laughs> awesome. Now we're gonna be, uh, I think we're gonna be hardworking. Yeah, so it's like The Sims 3 right here, and let's hit play. We all like to vote the best man. Oh! I can only watch this so many times. All right, step by step. Greetings, my, my friend. friend. Are, you... are you settling well Shh. on your new island? Shh. Quiet. Uh, are you feeling? Uh, Saint Clair is in a terrible state. You should focus on making that place a little bit more habitable. Focus on making people happy and content. Here's my cheat sheet. It will help you set up the basic. Uh, use it widely. Food, religion, healthcare, homes, fun. Step five, fun. Okay, welcome, Presidente. Welcome, it is. Presidente. It is me, but that is so annoying. Your most You're most trusted. I have to ask you, President, why are you here? This place is a total dump. There's not even a farm to provide food for the locals. You should remedy that if it's, if, if you insist if you yeah you should remedy that if you insist on staying here. But at least two farms to feed your people. Okay. So uh, let's see how are we going to do this. All right, let's we gotta zoom out a little, and uh, I guess right click is how you do that thing. And oh God, no. We can't move ourselves with those controls. We have to move ourselves with these controls. And wow, that is a really odd moving. It like jumps. But uh, okay. So uh, let's see. We need a farm. So should I build a farm right on top of everything? Or should I build a little away? Because farms need space. So they got to be out in the middle of nowhere, kind of. So maybe we should just build a farm over here. So um, food and resources. Um, farm. 1500 it costs. Oh, so does it show the vibrant farmland? The vibrant farmland looks like it's over here. That's for sure. So uh, we're going to rotate this bad boy. And we're going to put him right there. And then maybe we'll make another one. So uh, let's see. We'll make another one right here. So food and resources, farm, 
we're gonna put this one right there all right so we got some farms up and ready and uh why does it sound like this the sound is so loud um options scroll speed sound effects volume let's lower that even more voice volume no voice volume you're just those are annoying that's what i'm for um music volume close all right so hopefully now everything's not so loud um I still hear it in the background though, so it's all good as long as, long as it's not too loud. So, um, quick build for 1500. We barely have any money, but let's quick build it. Why not? And actually, no, let's turn this up because we gotta make these guys uh, work their butts off. So, we got one farm built, and uh, now we have two. I guess this means the workers are coming down here to build. Oh, we have three on the job right now, so that must mean uh, that people th this thing's getting hauled. This thing, what is this? I don't, even, I don't even know. Oh, step on food. Well done, President Anthony. The farms are ready to begin growing food for your citizens. Remember that our agricultural products take time to grow. The first crops will be ready in about... Oh, my God. Citizens will have to make do until then, but it's not going to be a serious problem. Um, the people rely on you to provide food. As the population of St. Clara increases, you will have to be... You will... Uh, Oh, hit the mic. You have to construct more farms. Try building one new farm per 50 citizens. Remember that the people won't eat tobacco, sugar, and coffee. These crops are made purely for profits. So one farm per 50 citizens. Where's my 50? Oh. All right. So we have two farms right now per 50 citizens. So what's this? Finances. Right. Presidente, my name is Antonio Lopez. I lobby on behalf of of the capitalist faction. Feeding the people is great and all that, President, but corn doesn't go much for the international market. And on the other hand, tobacco exports are quite lucrative. I'm sure if that we produce and export some tobacco, we'll attract more investors to St. Clara. Export 500 tobacco. I suggest you build one or two farms and set them to tobacco work mode. Oh, I'm going to accept that. And I guess we get a reward. So, um... Oh, God. Step to religion. President, um, whatever. I have provided food for our people, but what about food for their souls? We must build a house of God and the priests so that I can pray. A devout group of the U.S. has sent us 10000 to help in this endeavor. Have four priests on the island, and you'll build a new church and hire foreign workers. You don't have an educated citizen. If you, and build a new church and hire foreign workers if you don't. Okay, what's the two? Oh, these are our two objectives. So, I want to build a farm first. <clears throat> Actually, no, I should probably build the church first. I'm going to build the church in the center of town, obviously. So, I don't really know any of these yet. So, uh, no church. Um, welfare and economy. Church. 6000 that thing costs. Wow, ridiculously expensive these are. Where's the entrance, though? Uh, there's the entrance, it looks like. So, we're going to put that bad boy right there. We're also going to try and make two more farms. So, food and resources, because we do want to start making some money. As I, I don't want to be that poor guy that can't afford anything. But do we even have anybody working these farms, actually? As I think about it, I mean, people would obviously have to work the farms. They can't just sit there and do their own thing. Um, let's actually page up so we can zoom out a little. Uh, not to get too close. Um... Hmm, where's a good place to put these farms? Uh, I'm guessing the red obviously means it's not... I, I could be 100% wrong with this, actually. But uh, I think the red me. I don't think the way we place it really matters at all, honestly. But uh, I'm just trying to keep things nice and neat. So, uh, actually, I think, uh, by judging by some of the let's... How do I, um... How do I make roads? Hire priests. Export tobacco. Okay, so, uh, you don't have anyone working. Oh, you have a whole bunch of workers there. You are working your way along. Uh, hello. So, how are you doing? Do you have priests? Right click to be able to. S oh, hello. Um, we have one priest. Right click to be able to the spot. Left click to hire a specialist from abroad. Provider. Hold control and left click to skip the confirmation prompt. Uh,. Should I just hire a whole bunch? I just hired a whole bunch. Maybe that was a bad idea. Can I cancel? Oh, I guess I guess I can't cancel. Oh well. Oh, here we have a we have a boat coming in. Oh, Tropical welcomes three foreign experts. A fire 
a freighter left with no exports on board. Step 3, healthcare. I'm not feeling well, President. There was some kind of bug going around the island. I think I need a doctor. I meant the islands need more doctors. You can take care of your loyal subjects. I would suggest, suggest building a clinic or two. Improve the healthcare on your island to at least 45%. Alright, so we gotta build some clinics uh, after this thing gets built. How's this doing? Alright, so this is built now, and no, we, we want some tobacco. So that's building tobacco, and I'm actually going to build another, full, no, because that's not even fin fishing competition. No, we need, a uh, we need some, uh, welfare and economy. We need a clinic. So, uh, let's slap that clinic down right there. I'm going to try and space this. So let's put it right next to this guy. And there you go. So now we got that clinic going on. And where is this construction thing? That's a sweatshop. Not really sure what that does. Hello. Financial aid. Oh, we got a bunch of money. Um, garage. I guess that's a tenement. Oh my god. We don't have many spots left in there. Yeah, you have everyone in the city, it looks like. Uh, oh, normal training. This is the palace. So that's, I guess that's, this is where I live, don't I? Increase the beauty of the palace. Oh yeah, they have these little upgrades here, don't they? Manage. Without a simple health link, the people of Tropico will be forced to visit the local witch do Oh, hello. A freighter with no exports. Uh, ship is docked, bringing some new immigrants. I'm actually going to slow this down, as uh, I don't want things to get ahead of me. So, uh, 65 people. Again, we got we to gotta try and watch on that. Improved healthcare. Visitor. Service quality, 50. Um, depends on this. There, no building type work mode. Healthcare is always free in Tropico, quite obviously, so we're gonna increase the wages, I think. And, uh, yeah, let's put it there. And does that increase that? Export tobacco. How are you doing on this tobacco export? Output, uh, let's, let's raise the job quality to a solid 8 right there. And, uh, we're gonna make another farm as well, because it does take time for these things to get harvested. So, a food and resources farm, and, uh,. I guess, let's see, how can we do this? We'll go like that, we'll place this one down here. Um, yeah, tobacco. Just making sure. And, rough terrain, my ass. But, um, that's not, to, that's not what's important. Do we need to build another clinic? I think we do. So let's see here. Welfare and economy, clinic. Uh, we can't build a hospital. Oh, we need uh, we need other things. That affects export and import prices as well as taxes for tourists. Um, I guess I'll put this one right there. No, that's a farm. I don't want to put it in the middle of farmland. That would just be. How do I make a road? Overlays, show almanac, edit, select avatar. I'm sure it's in. Uh, is it talking? So there's a tenement. Um, housing. No. Um, tourism attraction, infrastructure, infrastru oh, here we go, road. No, that is definitely not what I want to do. Um, yeah, let's move it down here. How do I do that? And we'll just connect it like that. Did it, did it do it? Oh, there, there. There you go. And, yeah, go. That's awesome. And calling all doctors. And let's see, what's this? President, we need doctors to improve healthcare on the island. Doctors need a college education, but building a college at this time may prove both expensive and time consuming. Try hiring new doctors from abroad. Foreign workers are expensive as well, but they will arrive on the next ship. I send you some mo more money to help you. Oh my god, with this problem. Hire at least four doctors, you may build additional clinics. Accept. Accept that for. Oh, sure, man. Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna build this thing. Let's actually set this on fast. And uh, this is our this is high priority now. Wages. All right, so come on, guys, work work this. So uh, improve healthcare. Oh, it's going up generally. Higher doctors, two out of four. So uh, we just didn't gotta export that tobacco. And uh, all right, so here we go. And now we hired some uh, doctors from abroad. Um, Oh, we did it. 25,000. Wait. Swiss bank account. Four new immigrants to Tropico. Um, two new objective completed. Um, 
Okay, well, we got some money in our Swiss bank account. Not really sure what that does. Uh, how's it hanging, Presidente? Now that you have your very own island, how about a friendly wager? I'm talking about fishing competition. I bet you can't export 500 fish. How can I? Let's just not do that. Um, Presidente, the population in the Clare has been increasing steadily. It's time to consider building more food sources. If you don't provide enough food for your citizens, they will become unhappy and even die from starvation. Provide citizens with food from building farms, ranches, and fishermen wharves. Citizens can't get food from building too far from their homes. Can't get food from buildings too far. Marketplace distribute food produced by farms and wharves to their homes. Increase the food quality of your island to 60%. Um, what's my task? Food quality. I'm going to build a marketplace, I guess. So, uh, welfare and economy. Um, food and resources. Uh, marketplace. $500, that's it? Wow, this place must be ghetto. <laughs> Seriously. Alright, so I'll build a marketplace there, and I'm actually going to build this uh, tenement building. And I'm going to build, no, not by the farm. Definitely not by the farm. we got to keep that farmland uh, nice and vibrant. So we're going to build that thing right there. And uh, where's this construction office? Garage. Um, tenement. That's where everyone lives, obviously. How are you guys doing? Okay, no high school in Tropico. Miss Pineapple, you have a very big forehead, Miss Pineapple. Very interesting, very interesting indeed. And, uh, yeah. My dear President, do you know that your advisor, Pnuto, spells his name with not one, but two? Not two, but five typos. All intellectuals agree that <laughs> that's horrible. That it's high time we build a high school on our island. You need to educate workers for this without any advanced building. Hiring them from abroad will quickly become too expensive. So it is more prudent to invest a high school now and re reap the benefits in later years of the rain. I am in negative monies. Now I'm not. Financial aid. Foreign relations have deteriorated because of your national debt. Oh, that's horrible. But I think this is a good wrapping up point, as I do want to try and keep these episodes about 20 minutes long. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of my Tropical 4 Let's Play, where, uh, you know, just get things along here slowly and uh, hopefully a little efficiently. But uh, yeah, so thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.